Lauren Lucille Vassar, and I host an online show called The Celiac Diva, where I bring people the dish on all things gluten-free. And today I'm partnering with Char to bring you Better Without, your guide to a gluten-free life. And I'm really excited because today I'm going to be representing you who's on a gluten-free diet and asking questions to our lovely expert, Anne. Hi, I'm Ann Roland Lee, the dietitian for Char USA, and I'm your resource for all things gluten-free. We recently asked our Facebook members and our Char Club members what were their top concerns in living a gluten-free lifestyle. And one of the things they came up with, or the most common one, was how to navigate dining out while doing it gluten-free and safely. So today, we're at La Riviera Trattoria here in Clifton, New Jersey, to help you navigate through dining out experience safely, calmly, and of course, gluten-free. Are you ready, Lauren Lucille? Yes! What were some of the questions and concerns you had when you first started to re-enter into that social world and dining out, Lauren Lucille? Oh, whenever I thought of in eating out at all, you know, my initial reaction was that I was just plain terrified. <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, back then it was just kind of me versus the world, and I didn't trust anybody. You know, I also used to be a waitress, and so um, I know how chaotic it can be back, you know, in the kitchen and everything like that. And so my main question when I re-entered the social world of eating was, how can I be really sure that my food's going to be gluten-free? And that that's a that's a big issue. We've actually we just finished a survey where we asked our Shark Club members and our Facebook followers what some of their major concerns were. And the number one thing was dining out. Over 60% of our followers said that they would, you know, that they didn't feel safe getting a gluten-free meal out. Another 50% said that they would choose not to eat out rather than risk getting something cross-contaminated. And another over 30%, almost 40%, said they would dine out so they could join in that social aspect of it, but they would bring their own meal. Mm -hmm. Which is interesting, because that, that really shows and highlights the fact that we need to be so careful about you know, making sure the kitchen understands what's gluten-free, asking if the restaurant has a gluten-free menu, checking to see if they understand the, the concept of cross-contamination and the real concerns we have and even assessing the waiter and the staff to see if they really get what gluten-free is. Do you have any tips or recommendations that you would follow for that? Mm, when I think about that, whenever I first talk to a waiter, I can usually get a pretty good idea about whether they know a lot about living gluten-free or me being able to eat safely by asking them a few simple questions. Um, mm. I'll usually start out with you know letting them know how excited I am that they have a gluten-free menu. I think that's really important mm -hmm. to affirm that with those who are offering gluten-free options for us. And then I'll ask them, you know, how sure are you or confident that you know nothing will get cross-contaminated back in the kitchen area? Right. And you know the response to this will let me know how well trained the staff is. How much how gluten friendly the restaurant really is how much they know about it and something else I always when I talk to a waiter is I'll let them know you know I'm gonna get sick if I even have a little speck of gluten so how confident are you that I'm not going to get sick <laughs> and you know their response to this will let me know if I'm gonna continue in the dining process um, I think it's really, really important to mm -hmm. trust your instincts when it comes to eating out gluten-free. I think that's an important thing, too, that sometimes the word allergy will send up red flags for everyone. But it's important to remember, celiac disease is not an allergy. But if you need to use that term to kind of signal away that mm -hmm. this is important, I think that's a key thing to do. Most people understand that an individual will have a really bad reaction if they have a food allergy. So that may be one of those red flags to wave to get them to make sure they're paying attention to what, what you need to order. So, are you ready to order? What do you think? I'm really excited. I wonder what all they have. I know. Oh, hi. Hey. Welcome to La Riviera Tartoria. My name is Maria. Here's the menu. Do you all happen to have a gluten-free menu? Oh, yes. Is it just for yourself? Oh, no. It's both of us. Both, both of us, you? yes. Oh, okay. Sweet. That's so great. Yeah, this is so awesome. On the front and back, appetizers and entrees. And I'll have your waiter bring you over some gluten-free bruschetta. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Wow, this is really great. This is great. Okay, so this would be an example of a restaurant that gets gluten-free. But Anne, what do we do if we get a menu that there aren't any gluten-free options? And that's such a good point. Let's look at the menus. Ooh. These are great gluten-free options, but anywhere you go, you can dine gluten-free as long as, as you said, you have to make sure the wait staff understands and gets it. But also, in a standard menu, there's places that are safe, safe havens. Okay. 
most appetizers tend to be naturally gluten-free. Items like a shrimp cocktail, prosciutto and melon, um, an antipasto salad, even mozzarella and fresh tomato salad. These are all foods that are naturally gluten-free and you could order those very, very safely. What's good to know too is that many of these places that have a gluten-free menu are starting to use more and more products that are being delivered through food service. Char has partnered with some of the largest food service distributors to make sure that we can support these efforts to get our products into different restaurants. Everything from school cafeterias, military commissaries, restaurants, you name it, you should be able to get gluten-free nationwide. Wow. I know, isn't that great? Yeah, that's really great. So, what do you think you'll order today? Um, I think, okay, oh, hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. hi. Do you guys have any questions regarding the menu? This is an amazing menu. I mean, it's such a big gluten-free offering. Um, is there a story behind it? What can you tell us? I mean, this is unusual. Uh, I'd yes. love it if you'd sit down. Yeah, sit down and tell yeah. us. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Um, about two years ago, uh, I got diagnosed with celiac disease because I got very, very sick. So, regarding my blood work and my endoscopy, got very uh, positive uh, feedback from the doctors that I have full-blown celiacs. So being that I'm the daughter of the Italian chef, we had to come up with a menu or a food plan for myself and figure out how I was going to eat. So we started off the first six months doing the pasta on the regular menus, introducing it as a gluten-free option. And it took me a while, actually, to get my father to come up with a bigger menu because he has to cook it, I have to eat it, and I have to like it in order to sell it. So we finally extended the menu, and uh, here we are now at the restaurant and serving gluten-free eels. I'm actually going to have your waiter come over and tell you the specials and take your order. Oh, that's great. Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome to La Riviera. Shall I go ahead and take your orders? I think I'll take the chicken parmesan. Very good. An old favorite of mine, chicken milanese. Milanese? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, and Maria will have... An espruzzo. Pasta spruzzo. Excellent. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nice not to have to grill your waiter about really all is. the details. It's right. I do have, you know, a question for you. You know, as you know, ordering and having gluten-free food is only part of the process. You have to make sure that it's not contaminated back in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with that at your restaurant? Actually, on our computer, we have a gluten-free menu button. So any items that are highlighted under the gluten-free button is uh, going to come up on the ticket as a GF dish. So that's the first initial ticket coming into the t kitchen. The, uh, the chef and the sous chef actually read it. They announce it that it's an incoming gluten-free. And out of the gluten-free uh, containers that we have in special sections dedicated, they begin to prep the food. Oh, that's awesome. So what about the dishes? Are they marked any differently? Uh, yes, the dishes are all lined with a brown lining around the oval dish, and the side dishes are slightly bigger. The pots and pans are in saran wrap. The flour and the breadcrumbs are sealed and, and labeled gluten-free. They're on the shelf in their designated areas. And any of the utensils or anything are also saran wrapped, washed separately in a separate container and separate sink area. Oh, that's awesome. So the concept of labeling something gluten-free or gluten-filled, just like in our homes, can be applied in a restaurant as well. Absolutely. And for a minimal cost, you know, restaurants can, just like you guys have, they can make gluten-free dining available for the staff and for those of us who are really excited, the guests, to eat gluten-free. Absolutely. And they could also be approved by the gluten-free intolerance group uh, and get everybody certified so it just doesn't cost much to just get certified and uh, have that stamp of seal of approval from them. So that's really cool, but now here's a real question. Okay, you know sometimes you get a plate and it's supposedly gluten-free, but you know, you see like a giant crouton on it and you're like, this is not gluten-free. What, what do you do? Um, that's always a nightmare. And <laughs> the biggest thing to do is to get your waiter back, make sure he understands the importance of why that crouton can't be on your salad, mm -hmm. and send it back. And again, in that case, make sure you go over again what your needs are for gluten-free. Same thing would happen with uh, if you got a hamburger on a bun. You know, you have to do something to label that plate that it's got to go back and it can't be okay. Okay, well, that also, that's my next question, is how do you know that they're not just going to take off the crouton or just remove the bun and give it back? Well, you have to somehow mark that plate so that it can't be served again. Ooh, sabotage your contaminated dish. <laughs> You know, nothing too crazy, but maybe some ideas would be to, you know, put a little mark in your hamburger, you know, cut it just a little bit, or take a sugar packet and put it in the bottom of your salad bowl so that if you get it back, you'll know if it's the same dish that you sent off. That's a great idea because you want to make sure that you feel safe and secure about mm -hmm. your meal. So in wrapping up, we have a couple key points and key, key tips we can give everyone 
for their gluten-free dining out experience. The first would be when you go out to eat, ask first if they have a gluten-free menu. That will set the stage for whether, you know, what questions you need to ask after that. The second important thing is if they don't have a gluten-free menu and they have a regular menu, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask what things can be made gluten-free or look for things that are naturally gluten-free. Third key element is assess your waiter. See what his knowledge base is. Mm -hmm. If you ask for gluten-free and he gives you a blank stare, you know you have a little bit more digging to do. Don't be, again, don't be shy. Ask about how they're going to label your plate or mark your plate so that it's safely gluten-free, what's going on in terms of cross-contamination in the back of the house, and then relax and enjoy. Mm. You know, and if you get a good gluten-free meal, don't hesitate to give them a good tip because then they'll be more apt to do it again. Absolutely. Those are really great tips. Okay, so now that we've covered all the basics of great gluten-free dining, who's ready to eat? Oh, me. I am. Yay, me too. Let's do it. Mm. Ladies. Okay. Hello. Chicken parmesan. Thank you. Two chicken milanese. Perfect. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that looks really good. Enjoy. Thanks. Bon appetito, ladies. Yes, Enjoy. Thank you. We welcome you all to join us for a gluten-free dinner at any time here at our restaurant, La Riviera Trattoria in Clifton, New Jersey. Thank you and bon appetit.